down and we up. If I'm up, then we up. If we up and shut up, well, I shut shit down. Yeah, I shut shit down. Yeah, I shut shit down. If I'm down and we up. If I'm up, then we up. If we up and shut up, well, I shut shit down. Yeah, I shut shit down. Yeah, I shut shit down. Then back up, I'm wick with it. When blacked up, please don't act up. Might get snatched up. Turn in the cash fuck. Get your ass wrapped up. Guess I'm a rapper. No, I'm a rapture. First and foremost, we give all praises to you. How uh, should my shot That's all praise to the Heavenly Father, whose true name in the Hebrew tongue is Yahweh. In the name of His only begotten Son, who the world calls Jesus. The real name is Yahweh Shai. All right. We're out here to teach you so-called Blacks and Hispanics that y'all are God's chosen people on the earth. Give me second answer nine. Uh, GNT. Give me the GNT real quick. Yeah. But as we see, everything that's taking place in the world right now, this place is getting ready to get utterly annihilated, man. All right, now Atlanta's gonna get, gonna get destroyed, Detroit, New York City, this whole society is gonna get utterly, utterly obliterated for what this country has done to black, Latino, and Native American people. All right, and anybody that wants to join into this society, including you blacks and Hispanics, I wanna go with Massa, is Massa's house burning down, and we're gonna try to put the fire out. Y'all are gonna die in this place too. All right, second is tonight, start from the top. Second answer, chapter 9, verse 1. Yeah. Answer, consider all these things very carefully. When you see that some of the signs I have told you about have appeared. When you see some of the signs that I have told you about appear, what are some of the signs that we see right now? Well, didn't Christ say that there will be wars and rumors of wars? Uh, didn't Christ say that at the end, that knowledge shall increase? Well, Daniel said that. At the end, knowledge shall increase. That's why you're seeing... Blacks and Hispanics waking up to their identity in droves like you've never seen it before. You've never seen a movement where you got so-called Blacks and Hispanics united, keeping the commandment to the Heavenly Father. Man. And those are some of the signs that we're going to see and more to come that's going to signify this place getting destroyed. Man. That's right. Go ahead. You will know that the time has come. The what? That the time oh, has come. come. The time has come. That's the message for you Black and Hispanic people. And I want to give me Sirach chapter 5. Give me Sirach chapter 5. Read that in the GNT as well. Give me Sirach chapter 5. Start out, start out verse, uh, about verse 7. So that's what the Heavenly Father is saying. The Heavenly Father is saying the time has come. A lot of y'all niggas think that you're going to just do all kind of wickedness in your 20s, in your 30s, then maybe one day when you get old and got all that evil out your system, now you're going to give your life to God. What's, what makes you think that, that God won't kill you? Because you, you're used to this guy in the sky that just loves everybody. That's not the God of the Bible. Right. Don't you know that the God of the Bible, one of the first things he does is kill everything on the planet Earth except right. Noah, his family, and then a couple animals. He kills everything. Then he rains, Sodom, uh, he rains fire on Sodom and Gomorrah. He kills the firstborn of everything in Egypt. Y'all think God is somebody to be played with. God's getting ready to kill all kind of people, and a lot of y'all are going to die in this place too. Man. All right, go ahead. It's the book of Sirach, chapter 5, and verse 7. Yeah, yeah. Come back to the Lord quickly. He says, do what? Come, come back, back to the Lord, Lord quickly. quickly. He says, come back to the Lord quickly. Go ahead. Do not think that you can keep putting it off. His anger can come upon you suddenly. Don't keep putting it off. That's what a lot of our people do. We keep putting it off because we, we've been trained. We were Christians. You were told that God, he'll, he'll just forgive me. It's not, you know, it'll be all right. It's like you niggas treat God like he's just like a sin. You know what I mean? That a girl can just go cheat on him. And it don't matter. He's going to take me back. That's how y'all treat God. What's going on, brother? What's up, brother? You believe in the Bible? Brother, you believe in the Bible? Huh? Do you believe in the Bible? Yeah. Okay, so let me ask. I got one verse for you, bro. Give me uh, Matthew chapter 19. You got time for one verse, brother. I know you do. Just, you said what?
show you some of the Bibles? You know you got time to listen to one verse. Unbelievable. Go ahead. Look at 2nd Ezra, chapter 9, and verse 2. Uh -huh. You will know that the time has come when God most high will bring judgment on the world he has created. He will do what? will bring judgment on the world he has created. That's what's getting ready to take place. Judgment day is coming. All right, and in Revelation chapter 9, it tells us that a third of all human beings are going to die. How many, how many human beings are on the planet Earth, right? About, what, seven, eight billion? Imagine a third. That's, we're talking about several billion people that are getting ready to get put to death. Right. What's going on, brother? What's up, brother? You a God-fearing man? Yes, sir. You, yes, sir? Okay. So let me ask you something. How, how did Jesus Christ say that you get saved? Let me show you one verse, bro. Just one verse. You got time for one verse. Let me show you some of the Bible. You don't got time. So, so why should God make time for you if you can't make time for God? That's right. He has nothing to say. He just opened his mouth. He's going to talk. That's, that's the question I want to ask you, so-called blacks and Hispanics, because the only time a lot of y'all niggas even think to ask God for anything, uh, you don't ask for the right thing. You don't ask for wisdom, knowledge, understanding. You don't ask for those things. And it's always around the same time that you ask God for something. Around the first of the month. God, please, I know. I know I've been bad, and I know last time I said I was going to change, but this time I, I really mean it. You sound like a dope fiend. How many got that uncle that, you know, hey, man, look, I know last time I gave you that money, or you gave me that money, I went and bought some dope with it, but this time I'm serious, and I'm going to get my life in order, son, and then they go back to doing the same wickedness they were doing. All right, what's going on, sis? Sister, let me show you one verse in the Bible. You got time for one verse. One verse. So when you pray tonight, just know that when a man of God tried to show you one verse, you ain't want to listen. Okay, all right. This is the book of James, chapter 4, and verse 3. No. Ask and receive not, because ye ask amiss, uh -huh. that ye may consume it upon your lust. Yeah, that's what y'all niggas do. Y'all scroll through Instagram. Please, Lord, let me get this, this model. Please let me get this IG model. Please, Lord, don't let her just leave me on scene again. That's the type of stuff that, you know, please, Lord, let me, let me get a million dollars. There's, man, there's, there, how many times a nigga that sell a dough and pray to God that the cops don't catch him, man? Sell a dope to their own people, but I think God's gonna protect them. That's the mindset you so-called blacks and Hispanics. And guess what? A lot of us come from that background. That's why we're out here to let y'all know that you have an opportunity to repent. Some some of the greatest men in the Bible made all kinds of mistakes. But we have an opportunity to what? To return to God. We have an opportunity to repent. But that's something that you so-called blacks and Hispanics you just don't want to do. Give me Malachi 3 and 7. And it is so simple. If you would simply just can just say you're wrong. It's like a woman that's, she, when you get into an argument with a woman, she just can't, she just, no matter what, she just will not say that she's wrong. She just can't, she's way too proud. And literally, you, would just, you wouldn't even trip off the situation no more, but she could just say, look, you know what, baby, I'm sorry. I was wrong, I, I, I gotta fix this, moving forward. That's all you're looking for. That's all the heavenly father's doing. What's going on, brother? I see you got a cross. You believe in the Bible? Let me show you one verse in the Bible, okay? You ain't, to check. You ain't got time for God? Okay. <laughs> Why you got a Jesus piece? You even believe in Jesus. You know, like Malachi 3 and 7. He said, he, he said you flip me on? Yeah, it's all good. This is the book of Malachi, chapter 3 and verse 7. Uh -huh. no. From the days of your fathers, ye are gone away from my ordinances uh -huh. and have not kept them. Uh -huh. Return unto me, and I will return unto you. you. See how simple that is? That's all the Heavenly Father asks. He said, just return unto me, and I'll return unto you. But you don't want to do Instead, we're trying to, because here's what's crazy, right? They will go in to church and pay the pastor to lie to them. They're paying. They're losing money just so they can get told a lie. But we offer the truth for free, and they want nothing to do with it. You know, that's, that's, but that's, that's why all the nations of the world, that's why they laugh at you black and Hispanic people, man. That's why East India can come from Bangladesh or wherever the hell he's from, come and set up shop in the black community and make hundreds of thousands of dollars without hardly speaking any English, but we can't do anything in our own communities, we, and we built this country. Because everybody looks at us like we're, we're less than, because we act less than. We, we murder each other, uh, we sell dope to each other, we don't raise our children, the thing is abandon their whole families. This is why the whole world mocks us, man. All right, Priest, go ahead. There's a book of Acts chapter 7 and verse 51. No! We stiff-necked and uncircumcised and heart and ears. And here's what's crazy. How many times have we demonstrated? We asked a random white couple or person, whoever, and hey man, can I just borrow you know, two minutes of your time? They'll stop and listen. That's how you know that we're the Israelites. Everybody else will stop and listen, and we'll call them the devil for 10 minutes for an hour. We'll sit there, you got them, dude. And they'll sit there and they'll listen and they'll, they'll probably get yeah, right. Yeah. But our people want nothing. We try to teach our people the truth, and this nigga flips me off. How crazy is that, man? 
But it's alright, they killed Jesus. Y'all niggas killed Jesus, so it makes no it don't bug me out that you flip us off. You killed the greatest man that ever walked the face of the earth. That so-called black man named Jesus Christ. Finish that up. Ye do always resist the Holy Ghost. Yep. As your fathers did, so do ye. Yeah, exactly. That's what our people do to this very day. Reset, go ahead. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 30, and verse 9. Yeah. That this is a rebellious people. This is a rebellious people. Give me uh, Matthew chapter 11, verse 21. Go ahead. Lying children. Children that will not hear the law of the Lord. They don't want to hear the law of the Lord. If we was up here freestyling, if we were up here uh, uh, singing and dancing, doing whoever, doing whatever rather, they'll come and stop and listen to us. But we try to teach the Bible to fix our community, and they want nothing to do with it. Go ahead. Which say to the seers, see not, uh -huh. and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. Yep, don't tell us the truth. Speak unto us smooth things. That's what they sound that sounds good. It, it makes you feel good. What's going on, y'all? What's y'all nationality, if you don't mind me asking? It's just a question, brother. What's your, what, what race are you? Are you a black man? No? What are you? What are you, brother? Do you know? Go ahead. Speak unto us smooth things. If we were white people, I guarantee they all stop in this. Right. But the problem is, give me Jeremy 20 and 54. We, we're so, we've been so trained in this society to believe that everything associated with our own people is negative. For example, right? When you grow up in an impoverished environment, an impoverished area, what is your goal? Once you get to a certain uh, status, what is your goal? Is to get out. And then where, you, where do you move to? You don't move to an affluent black or Hispanic community. You go move around a bunch of white people. So now what does that do for the, for the mind of a child? When he's seeing, okay, but when I get money, when I get up in life, I gotta get away from my own people and then go join myself unto the same people who put my ancestors on a cargo slave ship. So now he's associating success with white people and not being successful, poverty, impoverishment with his own people. All right. So that's why you walk. That's why you then walk down the street and see brothers teaching the Bible. Oh, well, these are just some niggas. They don't got no truth. These are just niggas, just like, just like the good, no good niggas. We think the white men got the truth, but everybody knows that so-called black people have the truth. Why do you think they buy our music in the, in the uh, way that they do? Huh? When you go to a white church, you're not gonna feel, you're not gonna leave feeling closer to God. What kind of boring ass church? Anybody been to a white church? This shit is so boring. And you go to our people's church, even in wickedness, they're gonna say, never would have been, and you're gonna, you're gonna feel something. Everybody knows that, man. That's why we're the best at everything that we do. That's why we got the most beautiful women. That's why we jump the highest, That's run right. the fastest. And we're the best at teaching the Bible. And I think any, anybody's welcome to some right. at this point. We're welcome to any challenge. We're welcome to any challenge. We're welcome to any challenge. We're welcome to any book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 54. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother. Because there's a time where you're not going to brother. You're not going to call somebody your brother. Now, you don't see that type of love that we have to do right now. One of, the most, one of the most popular genres of music is drill music. There's no loving your brother in that music. It's all, it's music, literally all it's about is murdering black people, murdering Hispanic people, selling dope to your own people, uh, treating the black or Hispanic woman like garbage. That's what the whole music is about. And, and, and again, this is why it's so important that we come back to the Bible because it tells us what is in Matthew 24, that uh, the love of many shall wax cold. That's, a, that's another sign. What's the difference between me that we're looking in the last days? Alright, let's go back to 7 and 9. Say you love somebody to do what? You show them. 
So how is, let me show y'all in the Bible how the Bible says we show God that we love. Go ahead. This is the book of 1 John, chapter 2 and verse 3. And hereby we do know that we know him. If we keep his commandments. If we do what? If, if we, we keep, keep his commandments. commandments. If we keep God's commandments. So in order for us to show God that we know him, we believe in him, we love him, we got to keep the commandments. So I want y'all, when y'all get, get a chance, when y'all go home, Look up the Hebrew Israelites, because that's what our true identity is. Right? Oh, they call us black, they call us all these things. We are God's chosen people on the earth. So when y'all get a chance, do some research. I appreciate y'all. All thanks so much.